that song? Yeah, well, the sound was, was different from any other record that was around at the time. I mean, drums really normally were recorded in acoustically perfect surroundings. You know, that was the way, you know, studios were built. But there was a, a studio in London called The Townhouse which had this stone room. And that's where I'd recorded with Peter Gabriel. You know, I was his drummer for a little while when he couldn't afford American musicians. So he invited me to play on some tracks on that album, which was his third album. And there was a song called Intruder on that, which was basically my drum part and a song he adapted to fit it. But I fell in love with the engineer who got this sound. So when I did my solo album, I, you know, got together with him and we did face value together. So when we did In the Air tonight, you know, we've got set up, set up in, the, in the live room and I was playing... And um, he was getting the sound. And then when we came to record, I did a drum fill into my intro. And that fill was da 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 And we thought, that sounds good. And we left it at that, you know. Uh, and when we came to mix it, we, you know, we really went to town on it, and it was my album, so the drums could be as loud as I wanted. And it really, you know, people went like that, because uh, you're kind of lulling people in, drawing people in, and then suddenly punching them in the face with this. And uh, we used to call it the face hugger sound. It was like Alien. You know the movie Alien, where this thing comes out? <laughs> that was the way we referred to the drum sound, because it... Records weren't sounding like that. And it went on to launch a whole bunch of sampling, people using the drum sound on their records. and Even had its own phrase to describe it. Yeah, and it's gone on from strength to strength. You know, I mean, it was used in Miami Vice. It was used in The Hangover with Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson? This is my favorite part coming up right now. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. You're a close one, guy. It was used in, in a commercial in England for Cadbury's chocolate with a gorilla playing the drums, which went down very well. It was like a number one advert. Oh, no. So the song has just gone on and gone and gone. Well, but you recently told a British newspaper, The Telegraph, that you considered this to be a, quote, a noose around your neck. What do you mean by that? Well, I meant it kind of in a humorous way, you know, um, because you're judged by that. I mean, everybody says, why don't you write songs like that anymore? Right. And you only write that song once. You know, you can only write it once. You can't... I can't ever use that drum machine again, and I can't ever have that sound, really, because everyone says it's so oh, you're imitating what you did. So it's, it's kind of, you, you know, nailing your foot to the floor. You kind of, oh dear, what do I do now?